February, 1820. My dearest Fanny, I read your note in bed last night, and that might have been the reason of my sleeping so much better. I think Mr. Brown is right in supposing you may stop too long with me, so very nervous as I am. Send me every evening a written good night. If you come for a few minutes about six, that may be the best time. Should you ever find me too low-spirited, I must warn you to ascribe it to the medicine I'm at present taking, which is of a nerve-shaking nature. I shall impute any depression I may experience to that cause. I have been writing with a vile old pen the whole week, which is excessively ungallant. The fault is in the quill. I have mended it, and still it is inclined to make blind ease. However, the last lines are in a much better style of penmanship, though a little disfigured by the smear of black currant jelly, which has made a little mark on one of the pages of Brown's Ben Jonson, the very best book he has. I have licked it, but it remains very purple. I did not know whether to say purple or blue, so in the mixture of the thought wrote purple, which may be an excellent name for a colour made up of those two, and would suit well to start next spring. Be very careful of open doors and windows and going without your duffel grey. God bless you, love. J. Keats P.S. I am sitting in the back room. Remember me to your mother.